Hello again, everybody. This is Hiro Izuki with part 9 of my MGS2 Let's Play. What a hell of a place to start off at. A hell of a place to leave off at, too. I believe I have to cartwheel over this gap in order to get those two ammo boxes and the item box over there. It's a lot of effort. You're so good the board. I always get nervous. I always kind of jump at, the, at this part. Let's let's get away from the ledge before I kill myself. And wait, what? I, who? What? Oh, uh, sorry. Just uh, I'm so used to receiving text from an actual smartphone. Why do I have this thing again? Don't risk your life trying to get an AK suppressor like I did, kids. Mainly because I'm not using the AK much. The only thing I'll really use it for is to shoot down ciphers, and you know, that's about it. This is not a pretty sight. Hurry up and check the situation. Just go stay, please. Yes, why waste time sneaking when I can just tranquilize them both? Well, I can only get away with that right here. Next part, uh, I kind of do have to sneak. Hi. Just, just ignore me. Thank you. And please. And thank you again. Yeah, I believe on higher difficulty settings, uh, a UAV shows up here. Also, do not look down. Just don't. in my pants. Nobody's looking right. Could you please finish up already? I don't want you to piss on me. It just keeps coming and coming. Guess how much were you drinking? Huh. Yep, common sense dictates that he has to stop being at some point. But even after playing this game so many times, to this day, I still think that stream is still going.
This is another instance where you have to cartwheel. Why do you do this to me? This isn't funny. Someone could die here, and the reason I know that is, when I first played this game, I did die here. About three times. Olga, Snake is here. In Shell One. My father had some unfinished business with him. Olga, calm yourself. We will not change the plan because of your personal feelings. Then screw your plan. I've been waiting for this day for two years, and I will send him to the bottom of the ocean, right next to my old man. The launch comes first. Where is Ocelot? Not here. I don't trust him. Don't talk that way about one of your own. He's not one of my own. He left my father to die, remember? Olga, we'll talk later. We need to get started on the final checks for the unit. All right. I'm headed back there. The upper connecting bridge to Shell 1 is down. What about the chopper? The cam-off is out of action. Take the oil fence from Strut L. I'll tell my men to start pulling out. Not yet. Their retrieval comes last. The intruder's still at large. Snake. What about the other man? He's got luck on his side, certainly. He survived that explosion. A miracle, isn't it? Listen, Olga, the code confirmation is in one hour. Keep the president alive until then. I know. No one gets in here. Turn the currents on. Of course. High voltage currents on. Who wants to grab some bacon? The door stays shut unless the president manages to take out that circuit panel from inside the room. And it's no job for bare hands. All right. Come back immediately. Unless you're one One more him. thing. What? We leave for Russia when this business is done. I want half the money for that. Of course. That was part of the agreement. We start living for ourselves after this. If there's anyone who wants to stay here, I want you to take good care of them. Gladly. Gerlukovich soldiers are the cream of the crop. It's time they went free. What happened to rebuilding Mother Russia? The old man is dead. The world is a different place now. It's your life. Just as a reminder, I'm going to say this again one last time. Don't try anything on us. The feeling is mutual. Intense. I'm in front of the room where they're keeping the president. Everything all right? No sign of flooding, but I can't get close to the door. The floor is electrified. Don't test it. You'll be bacon. Any suggestions? Remember the Shadow Moses VR training. Take out the circuit panel? Right. But there's no way into the room. Try ventilation ducts. Yeah, I think I see one. Look for a remote control missile launcher. You can guide it through the duct into the room. Then target the circuit panel. Got it. Right, but make sure you don't hit the president. The president is wired with nanomachines. If we know the frequency, I can raise him. We've tried that repeatedly, but there's no response. It looks like the walls have a built-in radio shield. You sure so he wasn't just- that's why Ames lost contact with him. If you need to confirm his position, you can log into the node. There. Understood. Locate a remote control missile launcher first. Daddy Snake, talk to me. I need help. No, not really. I know where the, the key is. Snake. Do you know where I can find some remote-controlled missiles? 
remote controlled missiles. I saw something on B1 in the core of Shell 2. But be careful. Contaminated seawater's broken out of the tanks thanks to that explosion. Most of B1 is probably flooded by now. Press on the uh, elevator button repeatedly, it actually does come faster. What do you want, angry grandpa? Colonel, B-1 is completely flooded from what I can see. You'll have to swim through. Uh, swimming isn't my strong point. It wasn't a part of the VR training either. Stroke the water and move forward by pushing the punch button. Push it in rapid succession to swim faster. Change your heading with the left stick. Up will take you up, down takes uh, you lower. Yeah. Left and right so to face those there. directions. The O2 gauge will appear under your life gauge while you're underwater. The gauge corresponds to the amount of air you can hold from a single deep breath. Once the O2 gauge falls to zero, the life gauge will start to drop. You need to be aware of that. I bet you got all body armor down here. <sighs> what time to place these? You have the remote controlled missile. Good job. Now head for the first floor of the Shell 2 core. Take out the power source and make contact with the president before the launch code can be reconfirmed. Hurry! What was it doing up there? What the hell? Side note, on higher difficulty settings, the president is actually sleeping there. So you have to 
detonate a missile or two to get him to wake the hell up. What is that? Hi, friends. If you don't want to die, move out of the way. What are you doing? <gasps> trying to get you to move out of the way. What the hell happened? Right, right in. President got in the way. <laughs> Actually, you know, I'm, got, I'm, I'm not gonna bother just reloading. That, that actually is kind of fun. I'm sorry, I know I shouldn't think that way. But he wouldn't get out of the way, so. He deserved that. Why is that a game over? President Johnson! Huh? So you're finally here. You've been expecting me? Your equipment, that skull suit, isn't exactly standard military issue. Are you all right, sir? Is this some kind of sick joke? I thought you came to kill me. What? I'm prepared to face the consequences of my betrayal. What are you- Hmm. What the- You're a right man? Hmm. Well, who are you? Foxhound, sir. Foxhound? I see. Now things are starting to make a little sense. <laughs> this makes one of us. Switch over to nano communication so nobody can listen in. Yes, sir. Do you read me, sir? Uh, yes. Mr. President, it's my understanding that the terrorists have managed to input the code sequence necessary for launching a nuclear strike. That's correct. I punched the sequence in myself. You're working for them? If you asked me two hours ago, my answer would have been yes. Right now, they're keeping me alive until my vital signs are reconfirmed. They betrayed you? I wouldn't quite put it that way. I wanted power. They sought destruction. But how I stoop to terrorism? Unlimited. I wanted absolute power. But you're the Unlimited. president. You have power. No, I'm just a figurehead. What? I don't have any control. The real power is in the Patriots' hands. The Patriots? The truth behind this country. I'm not surprised you've never heard of them. Very few are aware of their existence, even among those with code word clearance. Huh? Politics, the military, the economy, they control it all. They even choose who becomes president. Putting it simply, the Patriots rule this country. No. Hmm. Hard to believe, isn't it? But it's the truth. The yeah, space defense, the truth. income tax reduction, and national missile defense programs. Every policy that's been credited to me was actually done according to their instructions. Space defense was initiated by Congress. That's what the Patriots want the country to believe. It's all a show. Democracy is just a filler for textbooks. Democracy Think is about a lie. It. Do you actually believe that public opinion influences the government? No. Would you be surprised if I said This yes. country is shaped and controlled as the Patriots see fit. The people are shown what they want to believe. What you call government is actually a well-staged production aimed at satisfying the public. 
Huh? Don't look at me like that. I'm legally sane, you know. It's not your sanity that worries me. The Patriots. Even I don't know who the actual members are. Are they financial, political, or military leaders? No one knows who the Patriots really are. Even my instructions come from a cutout. All I've been told is that every key decision is made by a group of 12 men, known as the Wise Men's Committee. <laughs> what an original name for Your the office? Committee. The White House? Merely puppets. Pawns in a game. By pledging my loyalty, an insignificant son of a senator was awarded the presidency. Huh. Of course, that wasn't the only price I had to pay. What do you mean? Even if a pawn becomes a queen, it is still just a playing piece. I wanted to leave my own mark in history, but my ambitions were... Too grand? You'll understand someday. I wished to be a member of the Patriots. I wanted to wield the power of a king instead of being an expendable pawn. And that justifies acts of terrorism? Yes. I'd intended to use the new Metal Gear as a bargaining chip. Bargaining chip? But I underestimated Solidus. He actually wants to challenge the Patriots, even if it means the destruction of the world. What are you saying? Whether you believe it or not, the balance of power rests in the hands of the Patriots. They regulate the country's various interests through controlled presentation, staging a drama that is palatable to the general masses. Can you imagine what would happen if they ceased to function? Picture a massive Anarchy. political vacuum, a space that every power monger will try to fill for their own greedy ends. I'm talking about an unregulated power struggle, panic, civil war, chaos. All out. Like it or not, the Patriots is an organization that must continue to exist. So you changed your mind because you wanted to avoid global chaos. Exactly. When I told Solidus that I wished to prevent disaster, he replied that pawns can never become players. And who is this Solidus? More cuts. My predecessor, George Sears. That was the name the public came to know him by. I knew him by his code name, Solidus Snake. He was the third snake, preceded by Solid and Liquid, a survivor of the Les Enfants Terribles project. French. Neither Solid nor Liquid. He was a well-balanced masterpiece that the Patriots saw fit to entrust with the presidency. However, he fell out of grace with the organization four years ago. When acting on his own, he started an incident. Four years ago? Shadow Moses! That's right. At the time, the DARPA chief, Donald Anderson, together with certain influential parties, initiated the development of Metal Gear Rex and an advanced nuclear warhead. However, this did not fall in line with the Patriots' plans. What's more, Solidus decided on his own to send his most trusted man, Ocela, to provoke Liquid Snake, bringing about the said incident. As a result, he succeeded in obtaining Rex and the data on the warhead. Oops. But in doing so, he ended up revealing the existence of both Rex and the Genome Army, a blunder that earned him the wrath of the Patriots. Shortly thereafter, Solidus was removed from the presidential office. I thought he resigned. That's the story given to the general public. Following his resignation, the Patriots selected me, their new pawn, for the presidency. But that would mean that the presidential race was... That was quite a show, wasn't it? It was a well-scripted drama staged by the Patriots for the benefit of the public. Even the Democrats and Republicans were dancing to the Patriots' tune. Everything went according to plan, but for one exception. Huh. Following his resignation, Solidus' health was scheduled to fail him bringing about his untimely death. Capped? Correct. But before the Patriots Headshot. could execute their plot, Solidus went underground with the help of Ocelot. As he avoided pursuit, Solidus gained control of Dead Cell, winning over Colonel Golukovic's outfit. From there, he bided his time, knowing that his opportunity would soon arrive. What opportunity? 
the completion of the new Metal Gear project, an opportunity that would even his odds against the Patriots. By stealing the Patriots' most valued project, he would be able to place them in a very uncomfortable position. It's the Wait, only he... chance he has for survival. Once he has the new Metal Gear, he'll declare war against the Patriots. Needless to say, he must be stopped. Metal Gear is already operational. No, not yet. Hmm? What you saw was Metal Gear Ray, hijacked two years ago from the Marines by Ocelot. That was not the new Metal Gear. Then where's the new Metal Gear? Right here. What? You're standing in it. To be more precise, this entire big shell facility is the new Metal Gear. I didn't What'd say you say? Things. No, I'm quite serious. The upper structure that you've seen is camouflage, designed to represent an offshore cleanup facility. The main structure extends from the foundation all the way down to the ocean floor. The connecting elevator is located on the B2 floor of the Shell 1 core. Arsenal Gear. That's the code name for the new Metal Gear. Arsenal? That's right. Arsenal. We're talking about an impregnable fortress carrying a load of over a couple of thousand missiles, including nuclear warheads, all protected by a horde of mass-produced Metal Gear Ray units. Mass-produced? The Ray unit was originally designed for the Marines to be used as a countermeasure against the Metal Gear variations throughout the world. Irony. The Patriots had Ray redesigned to protect the new Arsenal gear. So now anti-Metal Gears are guarding a Metal Gear. Ironic, isn't it? Very. That's not all. Arsenal Gear has full access to the military's tactical network, giving it the ability to exercise absolute control over our nation's armed forces, not to mention our nuclear armament. In Let short, Arsenal fly. was created to be the core of our country. What kind of idiotic weapon? Weapon? No. You're not seeing the full picture. Huh? Arsenal Gear is more than just a military tool. It is a means to preserve the world as it is. It will establish a new form of control. The Patriots will use it to keep their place as the country's true rulers. Right now, they feel pressured and threatened. By what? They fear an overabundance of digital information. The world will drown in the coming the flood of information, and they along with it. Hmm. The Arsenal plans include a system to digitally manage the flow of information, making it possible to shape the truth for their own purposes. In short, the Arsenal system is the key to their supremacy. The key? Yes. The GW system is the Patriots' trump card. Arsenal gear will be fully operational when GW is successfully integrated. Once operational, it will be a completely new form of power for the Patriots to wield. Unlimited I had hoped power. to seize the project from them, so that I would be in a strong bargaining position. Bargain for what? I'd hoped to trade my what way into their place? ranks. Masolidus preferred rebellion. Outer Heaven, his plan to unleash a nuclear blast over the skies of Wall Street to break the Patriots' control over the business community, is also a key factor in his offensive effort. Outer Heaven? Listen, there isn't much time. The football served as the key for activating Arsenal gear. I've already input the necessary code sequence. It won't be long before GW begins to establish connections with other external systems, and Arsenal gear becomes fully operational. Stop them before that happens. That is your role. Role? You've got to find Emma Emmerich. She's the only one who can stop that thing once it's been activated. Emma Emmerich? She's the system programmer for Arsenal Gear. I believe she's somewhere on level B1 in the core of this building. Mm, I thought the levels bad. below us were flooded. I'm sure they won't let her die just yet, as she's the only remaining programmer for this project. What? According to Ocelot, she was being held in a locker room located in the northwest part of level B1. Cut transmission and get moving. Actually, that would make a lot of sense. They probably did gun down every other program. This is card four. It'll give you access all the way to Emma's location. Give this to her when you find her. What is it? A program for disrupting the control functions between GW and Arsenal Gear. Take Emma to the computer room on level B2, Shell 1 core. She'll That's know how to load the program into the main system. 
A virus? That's right, modeled after fox dye. A biological weapon designed to selectively eliminate personnel with a specific genetic code. But why do you have it? The Patriots had it engineered as a failsafe, and Ocelot forgot to search me. You've got to hurry. Did he? That disc is the only way you're going to stop Arsenal. Well, I've told you everything you need to know. There's one more thing I need to know. There's only one thing that remains to be done. Huh. Oh, one more thing you need to tell me. Did the Colonel take my $20 bill? I need that back. Now, kill me. What the? I already tried that before. You There's no to time life. to argue. The final check for my vital ID will start any second. If you kill me now, you'll at least prevent the nuclear strike. Cut it out! Uh, do it! That's her role! Uh, oh. no. I didn't do it. Do it! That's abusing your right to free speech, Mr. President. Or is it ex-president? Ex the president! Point. Why did you... Alas, my finger must have slipped. That seems like a legitimate reason. I'll see you around, carrier boy. Forget him. He did us a favor. Without free will, there is no difference between submission and rebellion. Okay. My only real choice is to put an end to this charade. Anything else? Let me at least have the freedom to end it myself. Your last will attest to it? What are you? Find Emma. Stop Arsenal. This is my last order as your commander in chief. I'm counting on you. <sighs> I don't think he has a last will and testament. Okay. Well, now it seems as uh, good a place as any to stop. So, thank you for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, consider hitting that like button, the subscribe button, now leave me a comment telling people about this channel, and ring that little bell to stay updated with more videos from me. With that, this is Hiro Uzuki signing.